Baso, Gino Molirani Bubo, Pumpkin Ba, Loco Nexag. Tong Hitwama Agi Inko Tune, or Tong Hitwama Ji Agi Inko Tune, Tong Falokun, Nonek, Chiwi Aita Ka Chong Chicha, Ki Mulira Kun King, King Ba no Konik Dota. Iska dosoki, kopa bono nakachu, labora na winki smak toma, kuyami kyusku chita nai, uchua penki, topa na oto bokasa, yuba pato kanchi, ya tuka ulan, ya skronki to petsnemo, chi ita kanki, chana kilikon, kimba muli rabona ji, kimba no kunikset abog. Chiwak e aita kang ki cha na tupor nipo kun muli ras nimo poi wanga tong itu mama ji human ak ung ikatune chiwi aita ka chong chicha agi unko tune chuna muli ra tong itu mama ji kuna tong kipa nong kunek abog smilia. Tingkuin ko ka, patoga yak fuli ko ka la jiji. Ki muli ra kun king. Tong hit wama ag ikin ko tune. Tong hit wama ji ag ikin ko tune. Kachopa bogra shong ko ta chicha. Un chawa wish kun yun kun. Bogra shok chong kanti chopa chawa wisyon kun. Ki opi du puta krita. Ki wakya aita kan ki ki yoka ku. Uba baska doana chi chopa muska. Ka in cha na wabaka on. Inba nik cha loda kun. Kava yun patisa. Ki wakya aita kan ki ki yoka ku. Chau 
Tomaso, Gino Molirani Dubo, Tong Kimba, Noko Nexag, Tong Hitwama Agi Inkotune, O Tong Hitwama Ji Agi Inkotun, Tong Panokun, Nonek, Chiwi Aita Ka Tong Chicha, Ki Mulira Kun Kim, Kimba Noko Nik Dota, Jiska Dosoki, Kopa Bono Nakachu, Labora na winky smack toma, kuyami jusku chita nai, uchua penki, topa na oto bokasa, yuba pato kanchi, ya tuka ulan.
This again! Well done, Jolie. I knew we could count on you. A Jedi never fails to get the task done. If I remember the layout of the ship, our equipment should be in a storage chamber just through the north doors. After we grab our stuff, we need to get to the main bridge controls. The bridge is the only place that we can open the docking gates of the hangar where they've got the Ebon Hawk. We have to open those gates before we can fly out of here. We better get moving. I can feel the darkness of Malak's presence approaching. And I don't want to be here when he arrives. None of us is a match for the Sith Lord. Surprise and secrecy will serve us best. A small group might have a better chance of sneaking onto the bridge undetected while the others make their way down to the Ebon Hawk. Count me in, then. I've got a score to settle with the Admiral before we get off this ship. And I have a feeling I'm gonna find him on the Leviathan's bridge.
You better come with me and Karth. The others can find their way on their own, but we might run into trouble. We'll need you and your powerful force abilities to deal with it. The three of us will get our equipment and make our way to the bridge. The rest of you head down to the docking hangar where they've got the Evan Hawk. You'll have to find a way to deal with the guards. Don't you worry about that. I know how to deal with the guards. They won't know what hit them. We'll meet you there as soon as we get those docking bay doors open. Just make sure the Hawk is ready to fly when we get there. And may the Force be with you.
Yes, what's in your mind? I don't really know much about this place. Sorry. You got it. This is Candorus. We're at the Ebon Hawk. Like we figured, it's under heavy guard. But don't worry, we'll figure out a plan to take care of them.
gonna do? Yes? Ready. Sure. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes. What?
Very resourceful. I assume you had some part in this. You learned your lessons well from me. The only thing you taught me was betrayal and death, Song. Don't be a fool. I'm giving you and your companions a chance to surrender, a chance to live. Darth Malak himself is on his way. He'll be arriving any moment. He speaks the truth, Karth. I can feel the Dark Lord's presence approaching. Malak will destroy you. But if you throw down your weapons now, I will ask my master to be merciful. I've seen enough of Sith mercy. You always did like to do things the hard way. Lord Malak would have preferred live prisoners, but corpses will have to do.
He's still alive. It's time to finish this. No, Karth. Not like this. Do not give in to the hate. Don't you understand what this man has done to my life? Do you know the pain he's brought me? Killing him won't ease the pain, Karth. Do not become what you despise. Karth. <laughs> Must tell you. <laughs> Must tell you something. <laughs> You didn't know, did you? <laughs> Remember my dying words. <laughs> Remember them whenever. <laughs> whenever you look at those you thought were your friends. Ah! It can't be true, can it? No, no, no. It can't. Damn you, Saul. Damn you! Basil, it is true, isn't it? And, and you knew. You and the whole damn Jedi Council, you knew the whole time. Karth, it's not what you think. We had no other choice. Please, you don't understand. So make me understand. Not here, Karth. Please, there's no time. Malak is coming. This isn't the place. Please, Karth, I'm asking you to trust me for just a little while longer. I trust you, Bastila, but as soon as we're off this ship, I expect some answers. Of course, Karth. As soon as we get to the Ebonhawk, I'll explain everything. To both of you, I promise. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 
Not win.
what? Yes? I'm uh, sure. Escandarus, we took care of the guards. We're inside the Ebon Hawk and all systems are go. As soon as you guys join us, we can get out of here. Thank you. 
Darth Malak. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you weren't thinking of leaving so soon, Bastila. I've spent far too much energy hunting down you and your companions to let you get away from me now. Besides, I had to see for myself if it was true. Even now, I can hardly believe my eyes. Tell me, why did the Jedi spare you? Is it vengeance you seek at this reunion? is the outcome. I am actually surprised this confrontation did not happen sooner, given how powerful your mind once was. Even the combined power of the Jedi Council couldn't keep your true identity buried forever, could it? The Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. The Council would not normally accept an adult for training, but this is a special case. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. Tatooine. Kashyyyk. Manan. Korriban. Revan visited each of these worlds searching for clues to reveal the hidden location of the Starforge. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Starforge could lead you down an all too familiar path. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause, to use their own knowledge against them? you once were, Revan. Recognize that you were once the Dark Lord, and know that I have taken your place. You do not yet remember, Revan. The Jedi set a trap. They lured us into battle against a small Republic fleet. During the attack, a team of Jedi Knights boarded your ship. The Jedi Strike Team captured you, and the Council used the Force to reprogram your mind. They wiped away your identity and turned you against your own followers. Once I served you, Revan, but I always knew that one day the title of Dark Lord would be mine. When that Jedi strike team boarded your vessel, I saw my day had come. I ordered my own ships to fire on your bridge. I thought I could destroy all my enemies with a single glorious victory. I never dreamed that Jedi would take you alive from the wreckage. You mean why did I betray you, Revan? You are the one who taught me the ways of the Sith. The strongest must rule if we are to survive. 
You knew I would one day challenge you for supremacy, but you underestimated me. I acted sooner than you expected and seized the Sith throne with a single brilliant stroke. The Jedi are fools. They do not believe in executing prisoners. Originally, I assumed you had died in the battle. Imagine my surprise when I found out you were still alive, Revan. It's true. I was part of the team sent to capture Revan, to capture you. When Malak fired on the ship, you were badly injured. We thought you were dead. Your mind was destroyed, but I used the Force to preserve the flicker of life in your body. I brought you to the Jedi Council. They were the ones who healed your damaged mind. The Jedi Council didn't restore your wounded mind, Revan. They merely programmed it with a new identity, one loyal to the Republic. They tried to make you their slave. The Jedi hold all life sacred, even that of a Sith Lord. I could not just let you die, Revan, not if it was possible to save you. Bastila hides the truth behind noble words, Revan. The Jedi needed the memories buried deep in your wounded mind. There was no other way to bring them out. They had to keep you alive. How can you say that? Malak nearly killed you, but the Jedi Council gave you another chance to live. They gave you a chance to redeem yourself by defeating the Sith. A rash and futile hope. The dark side is too strong, my power is too great. Even my old master is no longer a match for me. A small part of me has always regretted betraying you from afar. I always knew there were some who would think I acted out of fear, that I did not want to face you. But now fate has given me a second chance to prove myself. Once I defeat you in combat, no one will question my claim to the Sith throne. My triumph will be complete. The Jedi Council were foolish to let you live. I won't make the same mistake. We shall finish this alone in the ancient Sith tradition. Master versus Apprentice, as it was meant to be.
No problem. Didn't work. Malak. Your friends do not give up easily, Revan. You always could inspire loyalty. But even the three of you together cannot stand against my power. For the Jedi! I'll hold Malak off. You two get out of here. Find the Starforge. No, that's the way he's too strong. No! The door's sealed. We can't get past. Come on, we have to get to the Ebon Hawk. Bastila doesn't stand a chance against Malak, but we can't help her. Not here. We have to get off the ship and find the Star Forge. That's the key to beating the Dark Lord. Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. We can't let her sacrifice be in vain. Come on! <laughs> Bastila. What happened on that ship? We ran into Malak. He would have killed us, but Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. You mean she's, she's dead? Nah, Malak won't kill her. Don't be foolish. He'll want to use her battle meditation against the Republic. Turn her to the dark side, and the Sith will always be victorious. Not so fast. We've got a bigger issue to deal with here. They deserve to know the truth about you. Do you want to tell them what Malak said, or should I? No, it's no joke. The Jedi Council captured Revan and erased the Dark Lord's mind, programming in a new identity. 
Saul Karras told me on the Leviathan, and Basil confirmed. You're Darth Revan? This is... this is big. Do you... do you remember anything about being the Dark Lord? Just a few flashes. That's it. Nothing more? Then I don't think there's a problem. It seems to me that if you don't really remember anything about being Revan, then it doesn't really matter. You are who you are now, right? Of course it still matters. How do we know more memories won't come flooding back? How do we know Revan won't suddenly turn on us? The whole time we've been chasing after Malak, we've had his old Sith Master right at our side, listening to our secrets, hearing our plans. Hey, you've got nothing to be sorry about. You didn't ask for this. Besides, I know you. You're not Revan anymore. Whatever you used to be, you're one of us now. <coughs> Big Z and I will stick by you. We owe you our lives. We won't desert you now. How can you say that, Mission? The Sith bombed my homeworld, Revan took away my family, and destroyed my life. Everyone knows it was Malak who gave the order to attack your people, Karth. You can't blame Revan for that. I suppose you've proven yourself to be a friend of the Republic by your actions so far, Revan. But can I trust you? Can any of us? What about me? I already knew who you were, though it wasn't my place to tell you. Better off that you know, if you ask me. Does it change anything? I'm not here to judge you. You'll do what you have to do, and I'll help if I can. You defeated the Mandalore clans in the war, Revan. You were the only one in the galaxy who could best us. We had never met one like you before, and never since. How can you even ask if I'll follow you? Whatever you're fighting, it will be worthy of my skill. I'm your man until the end, Revan. No matter how this plays out. Commentary. I am experiencing something unusual, Master. Answer. My programming is activating my deleted memory core. I believe I have a, a homing system that is restoring it, Master. Explanation. I believe so, Master. I was unaware of my homing system until it had been activated. It seems that the homing system deliberately restores my deleted memory core upon... upon returning to my original Master. Affirmation. Correct, Master. Sith protocols maintain that all droid knowledge be deleted before assassination missions and restored upon return. I have returned to you, and my full functionality is now under your personal command. It's a distinct pleasure to see you again, Master. Commentary. I believe I have served you well in the past, Master, and will continue to do so for as long as you have need of me. Wow. What are the chances of that happening? Remember, we're talking about the Force here. At this point, Malak himself could drop out of the sky and I wouldn't bat an eyelash. Good point. I knew the little guy would come through for you. Droids don't hold grudges. Well, the others seem to trust you, and I don't see any other way that we can stop the Sith. And I suppose that Malak is the real enemy here. I really don't have any other choice, do I? Don't worry. I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of my assignments or this mission. But don't forget, I've sworn an oath to defend the Republic. As long as this mission stays on course, I'll stick with you. But I won't let you betray the Republic under any circumstances. So I guess that's it then. We keep going. We've still got one more star map to uncover if we're gonna find that Star Forge and save Basila, so let's do it before it's too late.
Yes, what's on your mind? Korriban's a desolate world and a Sith planet. There's only one small colony here, I'm pretty sure. That's all I can think of, at any rate. If you're ready to talk, then yes, so am I. I can't hate you. I tried. I wanted to hold you responsible for all the things you've done for my, for my wife, for Telos, for Dustal. But I can't. I got the revenge I always wanted when Saul died, but it hasn't brought me the peace that I thought it would. Despite whatever part of Revan is inside you, the, the darkness that must surely be there, it isn't who you are. That's why I can't hate you, why I don't want any more revenge. You don't have to be Revan. You can be so much more. Whatever the Jedi did to you, they gave you that chance. Whatever's happened up until this point, there's going to come a time very soon where you're going to have to make a choice. And there won't be any turning back. Well, then I hope I can save you from yourself. How can you possibly be Raven? The one, the Jedi whose troops saved me on Taras. It was Raven leading an army out to defeat the Mandalorians. It was you. I knew when I heard that you had become the Dark Lord of the Sith, that something was wrong with it. The man who saved me could never go completely to the dark side. It is good to know that you have truly changed. It gives me hope. I do not think now that I will fall to the dark side. I only have to look at you and follow by your example, and there is no way I can fail. I... I am sorry. I did not realize. I will endeavor to be more considerate in the future. I will never forget what you did for me, even if you do not remember it. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? What is it you would like to speak to me about? After my father died, my mother was left to support me alone. A single, non-human woman, living in one of the worst, most violent slums on Terrace. It was not easy for her. When my father was killed, it seemed that something in her began to die as well. She worked. She worked as hard as she was able. But over time, she began to waste away. I later learned that she was unable to get enough money to feed both of us, and had to start borrowing from the exchange. A band of cutthroats and smugglers. But even that was not enough. She hid what she was doing from me. She gave most of her food to me so that I would be strong, but she herself was suffering deeply from it. In the end, she could go on no longer, and collapsed at the cantina where she worked one day. She never recovered. There was nothing really that I could do for her. She left me no money, and no doctor would see her without being paid first. I sat by her bed for days as she lay there dying. I never want that to happen to someone I care about ever again. But there was still the money she had borrowed. She had never paid it back and made no provisions for her death. You must understand. The exchange is brutal. They care nothing for the life of a sentient being. They are the major suppliers of slaves on Terrace. They thought it would be appropriate that, with my mother owing them money, the debt should be passed on to me. And with no way to pay, they took me by force. You have no idea what this is like to be bound like a beast and treated as such. It was the worst time of my life. They treated me like livestock. They were waiting for a buyer to give them some credit for me when the Jedi came to fight the Mandalorians. Jedi could not abide by what they saw there, and drove the exchange from the face of the world, freeing those of us imprisoned there. But the Jedi soon left to fight their war, and I was left with a dream. 
I swore that I would become a Jedi. As soon as I had enough money to do it, I bought passage on a freighter headed for Dantooine. And we both know what has happened since then. I am grateful to you for having given me the opportunity to fulfill my dream, rather than become what I hated. Someday, I may make it up to you. But for now, let us keep on the task at hand. <laughs> That's a unique method of getting someone to talk. Thunder about like a bantha in a circuit shop. Does that work for you often? Let me tell you something. Once you've lived as many years as I have, you'll have yourself a long, long list of memories. If you're lucky, most of them will be good. If you're not, some will be bad. If you're really unlucky, some will be so bad you never want to be reminded of them again, ever. You'll go far away to a place that doesn't hold any memories at all. And there you'll be happy just to forget and be forgotten. Let me ask you this. Have you ever been in love? Truly in love, I mean, and not simple infatuation. Exactly. You're still at the beginning of your life. There will be women in your life, perhaps many women. But if you're fortunate, you'll find love once. The Jedi, with their damnable sense of over-caution, would tell you love is something to avoid. Thankfully, anyone who's even partially alive knows that's not true. Love doesn't lead to the dark side. Passion can lead to rage and fear and can be controlled. But passion is not the same thing as love. Controlling your passions while being in love, that's what they should teach you to beware. But love itself will save you, not condemn you. Uh, listen to me go on as if I had all the answers. What do I know of love anymore? I'm just a lonely old man who's not even a Jedi. was. Technically, I never rose above the rank of Padawan for various reasons. Does that surprise you? <laughs> I suppose I'm not prone to live my life like most of the Jedi Masters do, that's true. My opinions on love are no different. Love causes pain, certainly. Inevitably, love is going to lead to as much sorrow and regret as it does joy. I suppose there are perfect eternal loves out there, but I haven't seen any. And how do you deal with the bad part of love is what determines your character. What determines the dark side's hold over you. I haven't changed my mind. I'm still not going to talk about it. You go and find your own love if you want to know so badly. I'll tell you one thing. Sometimes, no matter how hard you try, you and the one you love simply aren't meant to be together. The trick is to know when that is. To know when it's time to fight and when it's time to part ways. <laughs> there I go, waxing philosophical again. Somebody blast me already. 
Let's get going before I start talking in riddles, damn it. Got something on your mind, do you? I suppose I can whip up something, uh, you know, a few herbs and such. You do know that the best alternative is not to get hurt, right? Well, not to say that you go leaping into the path of blaster fire or anything, but I know how you young people get. Here, take it. Got something on your mind, do <laughs> Korriban's a rock. Mind the Sith. And that's about all I got to say about that. Now, let's get going. Oh, I get it. Let's play with the old man's head, is it? What do you want? Korriban is a Sith world, that's for sure. I mean, just look at this place. Rumor has it that the leader of our clan at the time, Mandalore, did go down. They say the Sith performed terrible magics here. Do you have anything else you want to ask? Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. You created me shortly after you and your apprentice began your war to conquer the galaxy. I was sent on an assassination mission into Mandalorian space, but I was damaged and unable to return to you. Exclamation. I find this most distressing. I could certainly have protected you from the Jedi and your pupil's betrayal had I returned. Objection. But I would have tried, Master. I could have killed the Jedi Bastila. I am sure of it. That would have been most fun. Observation. Now that is the Master I remember. Observation. You are different in many fundamental ways, Master. You have a concern for life that is unsettling. This cannot solely be caused by memory loss. I do not know how to explain it. Regardless, you do seem to be improved overall from the human I once knew. Answer. No, Master. You never did make me privy to any of the Starforge's secrets. Commentary. Your former pupil is efficient and brutal, even for an organic. I rather liked him when you first introduced me to him. If I had known what he would do to you, Master, I would have gladly removed his entrails right then. Answer. It was you who programmed me thus, Master. Your pupil once asked me what I thought of him, and I informed him of his meatbag status. He was unimpressed, but you found the reference humorous. You changed my programming so that I would continue to use the term. It drove your pupil to extreme lengths of frustration. Observation. Of course you do, Master. You did then as well. As you desire, Master. Signing off. Psst. 
Hey there, what can I do for you? It seems to me that if you don't really remember anything about being Revan, then it doesn't really matter anymore. You are who you are now, right? I don't see the Sith Lord standing here. I see a friend who's been with us through thick and thin. Remember, Malik's the one who tried to destroy Terrace. Hey there, what can I do for you? Maybe if we get these tat glands for him, things will work out. Or maybe he'll finally see the light and turn over a new leaf. I know it's not likely, but it's all I have to hope for. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Zikukuno no ba mulera jikun tong hit kun chunching ne boboje mata ne punage dulpi kikuana. Runda di hotonga kun hongabi 
ona kun bez ching palamule tunking ba nuno dek tuk nincha tu kun ne mule rabes ta kun justak miki gravel moko kachichu ita botunga turbo bank wale oganda naru chuchut oge sha punga bola wana chik ne Mule slimo puta da da na ga kubis mule rabes ke puna buna na e chatu chimba mule ratoana to chimba no kunik kavatopa ku peliano momakata wanga kubis kiabol mule a ga ching chana na wanga ba kon kavatopa ku peliano ponantea chi gratu Lota pograsi onni un compa cin tondo mochuba. Lota di ta kun i da patisa batua kacha tu tonga. Pograsha kun ti ja ko um. Chuba ka ha chopa chawa chuish yunku. Jodo jid bungaran ta. Lunda di ho tonga kun hanka bi. Bona kun bez ching palamule. Tonking ba nuno dek, tuk nincha tu kune mule rabes. Tag bis tu pungko kuki magpaka, ching para chiska mule tunarana. Nu prata tungko si cha tuma wamama tuks kebo toma ni cha julor cha kinguno bule rajiko kuya mi jus chikata na patoga ya fulki koko gala chichi ka wana bot atangwa kagi dora te kun wata te mana iya bola mana man atota. Haki jukrata bola shui tonga tong, jongkin no bunka mule ra kungkile, kungkile no ba, watende chokolo ono ono ku mule ra tong hai tuam chichi jong lumpa, ni ta poe tikito, dolpa da bongkwaleo gandona chuchut, ka chichu i ta dundonga, yu malita kuto tun, jila mula ne ni dupopo. Wonga kumbis chang ba mulera. Ka chikun ida hodonga. Ikin kuno ba mulera chikun. Slimo pudo na rudi hodonga kuhun kabe. Tong abog sha umina. Wonga kumbis keng balemura. Chuni yun tun chichi ida duana. Kava volpa mulje kumana? Kava dupa ku palia muka pata. Puna na chaku i kung kono pule marachi ko. Tong na bong sha nunya kava volpa mulje kuna. Dolpa da pangwale kando na gugu chut chut. Kava dum ku pelio botenya. Puna na ikuchu. Awaga boska chokola, mucha shag panka. Wi tam borakatong, mulira ashang turong ni na potata tuanga chun tize. Igruto haga jijiwa, wata juma wana hu wama hulhu na tek. Tong abo sha umina, wonga kumbis keng balemura. Chuni yun tun chichi ida duana. Kava volpa mulje kumana? You're back! 
I knew you'd come through for me. I knew I could count on you. Uh, you do have a tech land for me, right? Come to Papa, you sweet simian organ. It may not look like much, but once I turn this into a bottle of Theresian ale, it'll end up being worth a fortune. Thanks, Mission. You won't regret helping me out with this. Please, Griff, let this be the last time. No more cons, no more scams, no more schemes. That's all I ask. Hey, sis, no need to worry about that. I've turned over a new leaf. From now on, I'm gonna stay out of trouble and do things right. And once we've cornered the market on Theresian ale, good things will be heading my way. Then I'll make it up to your mission. Just wait, you'll see. You know, once we synthesize this and start brewing Theresian ale in mass quantities, we're gonna be looking for some investors. You give me a couple of hundred credits, and I can get you in on the ground floor. And you'll get a return of, oh, at least 20 times your investment. You don't know much about business, do you? When an opportunity like this comes along, you have to jump at it. Come on, what do you say? No need to get violent, I can take a hint. I was just trying to do you a favor, but I see you're not interested. It's your loss. I better get started brewing that ale. Meet me back here later and I'll give you a down payment on what I owe you. Hey there, what can I do for you? I appreciate everything you've done for Griff. You know that, right? I just hope things work out for him this time around. I guess we'll find out when he meets up with us at the Zerka Corp shop. If he's got those credits he promised you, then maybe there's hope for him yet. Thank <laughs> you. 